So season two of Diablo 4 is gonna be getting some massive buffs. Now the first part of this is a new event that's gonna be running from November 20th to November 27th. And this event is gonna give us 35% increased experience and gold, and both are gonna be multiplicative, which is actually very interesting for gold because we've never had a multiplicative scaler on top of that. But for experience, this is also gonna stack with things like the elixir, our urn from the season, and that gives us increased experience from killing monsters and all of our other experience buffing things like incense and the world tier experience buff. And this 35% experience being multiplicative is actually pretty massive because one of the ways that they made leveling so much quicker in season two was actually to make experience increases multiplicative, specifically multiplying with your world tier experience. So like in world tier four, you get 200% increase experience when you're getting other percentage increases it's a multiplying with that which is also one of the ways that they made leveling up once you get into world tier 4 not feel significantly slower than the leveling previous to that so if you add up all the experience buffs you're going to be able to get you're going to be getting the 200 percent from world tier 4 if you have the urn of aggression from season 2 that'll give you 20 percent increase experience from monsters then you're getting the new 35 percent buff from this event, then you're getting 5% from your elixir, then you're also getting 5% from an incense. And having all of these experience buffs is going to make leveling absurdly fast. And I think one of the big reasons they're doing this is because the week after this event ends is when the Abattoir of Zir is released. So I think they're wanting people who didn't get to level 100 to be able to get there very quickly. And if you want to make alt, I would very much recommend you put in the time during this week to get as many any alt up to level 100 as you want because there's going to be no better time. But also with the Avatar of Zir coming out and being absurdly difficult, you're going to want a lot of gold for rerolling and this event multiplies your gold by 35%. And the absolute best way to make gold in D4 right now is just to do whispers. So that's definitely something I'd recommend doing a lot of because whispers give a lot of experience and they're going to be giving you the most gold, which is not going to be multiplied by 35%. You'll probably be able to get upwards of like 10 million gold at a world tier 4 whisper probably even more than that now the second part of this is a hotfix that's already released into the live game and that's a massive buff to living steel drops so living steel in world tier 3 has been increased from 1 to 2 and there is an additional chance for 1 to 2 extra living steels to drop then the living steel chests in world tier 4 have been increased from 3 to 5 and then there's an additional chance for an extra 5 to drop so you could get 10 but then all other helltide chests will grant 1 living steel in world tier 4 so this is a pretty absurd increase to living steel drops and this was very much needed living steel was the main durial resource that was limiting you. People would have so much resources to go kill Varshan. You would have so many of the resources from killing Varshan to go do Duriel, but you would be completely limited by living steel. And since Helltides are a limited event where you can't do them all the time, it just made it a much bigger hurdle to continuously get living steel. And these buffs are going to go a long way to doing that. One of the biggest ones being you just get five from opening a living steel chest, which now means every living steel chest you open is guaranteed to give you enough resources to go kill Gregor once to at least give you half a Durio kill. Now you can also get lucky on Gregor and get two of the resources that you need to summon Durio. So five living steel on occasion can actually give you a full Durio fight. Then you're going to have the chance to get double, so 10, which would be a guaranteed chance for a Durio fight. And then any other Helltide will also be giving you one living steel, which if you're somebody that's really knowledgeable and good at farming Helltides, you'll actually be able to get all of the living steel chests and then just go continue to farm and just farm up like all the other 75 chests in the area which will also be giving you small amounts of living steel so i think this is actually one of the best post launch changes to season two they did also fix the issue with living steel chests not spawning correctly so if you've been doing any hell tides and looking for any of the living steel chest farms you'll notice sometimes you go to one that's been confirmed to be there and it's just not there that's been fixed but the living steel guardian the big dude that guarded the chest
OS has been removed because that's what was causing the issue. So I would very much recommend at least putting a bunch of time into farming the week of the 20th to the 27th. That's going to be absolutely massive for progression. And especially if you're somebody that also likes to play a little bit on Eternal Realms, even if you just want to play in the Eternal Realms, like at the end of a season or at the start of a season to test some stuff out, getting all of these buffed up resources, especially the 35% multiplied gold is also going to be really big for going and testing some stuff on the Eternal Realms. So whether you're someone that only plays seasons or you play on Eternal Realms sometimes, this week of buffs is going to be completely absurd. But that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.